Hello everyone, my name is Aarti and you are watching HW News. Former Tata Sons chairman Cyrus Mistri was killed in a road accident yesterday. Mistri along with three others was returning from Gujarat when his Mercedes hit the divider on a bridge over a river in Palghar near Mumbai. According to doctors, Cyrus Mistri and one more person travelling with him were already dead when they were brought to the hospital. Two others are badly injured and receiving treatment at the hospital. The police were initially probing whether there is any foul play in the accident. However, the foul play angle has taken a back seat after the initial probe. Turns out Cyrus Mistri and fellow travellers had followed basic road safety protocols. They have been safe today. How did the accident take place? What was the road safety protocol the travellers did not follow? And what questions arise out of this? Let us understand in this video today. But before that, if you are watching this video on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. You like this video and you comment below it and if you're watching this video on Facebook then please do like our page and share this video to as many people as possible. 54 years old Cyrus Mistri, the youngest scion of the multi-million dollar Shaparji Palanji group died in a tragic car accident yesterday. He was travelling in a Mercedes which hit a divider in Charoti of Palghar. There were four people in the car at this time. Cyrus Mistri and Jahangir Pandol died on the spot in this accident. Anhita Pandol and her husband Darius Pandol were injured. Anhita, a top gynecologist in Mumbai, was driving this car. Cyrus Mistri and Jahangir Pandol were in the back seat of the car when the accident took place. Anhita and Darius were sitting on the front seats. Both of them were injured in the accident and are now undergoing treatment. The video from the accident site shows how badly the car has been damaged. The windows are completely shattered, the car bumper is completely crushed, tyres have burst and at the rear, the exhaust pipe has damaged. Such was the impact of the accident that the engine of the diesel car MH47AB6705, which is registered in the name of Darius's company JM Financial Limited, was pushed behind the wheels. The bonnet was, however, intact. Several questions arise in the light of this information. Firstly, how come the driver and those sitting at the front suffered injuries, but those on the back seat were killed instantly? What saved those on the front seat? Did not the airbags at the rear open? Weren't they wearing seat belts? Were they not following speed limit? So on and so forth. Let us address these questions one by one. First, overspeeding. Cyrus Mistri and the Pandols were visiting the Iran Shah Fire Temple in Udwara, a tiny village in Gujarat, about 180 kilometers away. Both Cyrus and Jahangir Pandol had lost their fathers recently. Cyrus's father, Palanji Mistri, died on June 28, 2022, at the age of 93. Jahangir's father, Dinsha Pandol, died on August 29. Sunday was Behram Rose according to the Parsi Zoroastrian calendar. This is when Parsis visit their most revered fire temple in Udwada. According to the Times of India, Mistri and his friends had lunch at Friends Hotel in Udwada and left for Mumbai. Anahita was driving the Mercedes. Her husband Darius was sitting next to her. Cyrus was sitting diagonally opposite to driver in the back seat and Jahangir next to him. According to the police's preliminary investigation, the car was overspeeding and it lost control while trying to overtake another vehicle. Police said that prima facie evidence suggests that Anahita lost control of the vehicle while taking the old bridge over the Surya River, which is at a lower level than the new bridge. She had just crossed the three-lane Charoti toll Naka and covered a kilometre when the accident occurred. Police officers who visited the spot said that the vehicle could have been speeding and the driver might have been in two minds as to which bridge to take. After crossing the Charoti check post in Palghar, the car covered 20 kilometers in just nine minutes. Police said it went through the CCTV footage captured at the checkpoint around 2.21 p.m. The accident took place at around 2.30 p.m. when the Mercedes was on the bridge on the Surya River. This shows that the car covered this distance in about only 9 minutes. The police has filed an accidental death report. The police report also points to error judgment by the driver Anahita Pandol. Point number 2. Airbags Although the accident turned fatal for those sitting on the rear seats, both Anhita and Darius were saved due to airbags. The curtain airbags at the sides, which are meant to protect passengers seated at the rear, had opened, but it was too late. Point number 3. Seat belt 
The police believe that Cyrus and Jahangir both seated at the rear of the car were not wearing seat belts. Had they worn a seat belt, there was a chance they would have been saved. Wearing a seat belt for the person in front facing rear seats is a must according to the Motor Vehicles Act. All cars offered in India come with mandatory seat belt for rear passengers. However, passengers traveling in the rear rarely follow this safety protocol. Let me show you what exactly happens to passengers seated in the rear in case of accident when they haven't worn a seat belt. This video is only for educational purpose and not meant to scare you in any form. This also possibly what may have happened in the case of Cyrus Mistri's car's accident. The car accident in which Cyrus Mistri died was tragic, but it could have been saved from turning fatal if only the passengers had followed basic road safety protocols related to speeding, airbags and seatbelt. This has sparked a debate around road safety in India. Every year, more people die in road accident in India than in terror attacks globally. According to World Bank data, Indians own 1% of world's cars but account for 11% of the road accidents across the world. This has also been flagged in the latest NCRB data. In 2021, 1,55,000 people died in accidents on Indian roads. This was a 17% increase from the 2020 count when 1,33,000 people died in road accidents when much of the year saw a nationwide lockdown. Total road accidents reported was 4,3,000 in 2021, which was up from 3,54,000 the year before. According to the report, speeding alone caused 87,000 deaths, according for half of all the deaths, while dangerous and careless driving was attributed as cause for 42,000 deaths. In 2021, India witnessed an average of 18 deaths per hour due to road accidents. A third of India's vehicular crashes take place on its national highways. In 2021 alone, 53,615 people died on these highways. It was only in the month of February this year that the government had made it mandatory to wear three-point seat belt for those travelling in the back seat. In June this year, the government had said it will make it mandatory for car makers to provide a minimum of six airbags in motor vehicles that can carry up to eight passengers. However, after the concerns raised by small car makers about the costing, the implementation has been deferred now. But the point is, human lives are too valuable to have been lost in road accidents. It is time we focus on road safety and road accidents and have a concerted effort to create awareness about this. Do let us know what you think about this in the comment box below. For more news and updates, you can log on to www.hwnews.in.